In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can write and run your own custom code in N810 workflow. To create a new workflow, you have to simply click on this button, create workflow. It will navigate you to the workflow editor. Here, we have to add our steps. So the first step is we have to get the message from the user. So to add the block, you have to simply click on this add icon. And now from this panel, you have to select on chat message. To get the message from the user, you have to simply click on this and drag and drop it in your workflow now you have to click on test chat now in the down panel you can see the chat block here you can write your messages and send those messages inside this block then these messages will travel through this wire for the next block next we are going to add our own custom code block in which we are going to write the code to count the number of words in the messages coming through this chat block so to add the new block you have to click on this add icon now you have to go inside the core now you have to select this code block just drag and drop it in your workflow it will automatically connect with the chat block here we have to tune some parameters before using this code block the first one is the mode and here we have two options the first one is run once for all items and the second one is run once for each item so we have to select this first option and what are items in n8n each item is a dictionary with a json key that holds the actual data so whenever we send the new messages through this chat block it is just one item and the next parameter is the language here you can select the language in which you want to write your code i am going to write my code in the python language and here in this block you can write all of your code so the first step is we have to get the messages from this input block inside our code block so all the messages that are coming through input block are stored in the variable called items and they are in json format so all the messages that we are going to send they will appear in this input window so to send the message you have to go back to the canvas and here in the chat block you can type your message and send it i'm going to write my message for example hi my name is mr ai and to send the message you can either press the enter or you can click on this button when you send this message it will go inside this chat block then it will try to send this message to the code block now if i will open my code block again here you can see the chat is appeared inside this input window and here you can see this chat in different format for example here you can see it in schema format which is more readable and here you can see it in the table format and here you can see it in the actual json format next we are going to fetch this message inside our python code and we are going to output this message and it will appear in this output block so to fetch this message you have to call the variable called items and to return this message you have to type here return because it is already in the json format now if i will click on execute step now in the output you will see the same output that we are getting in the input now this input will travel from this input block and will go into the code block and now from the code block it will send to the output block and here you can also see your output message in different formats in schema table and json and next we are going to count the number of characters in our message right now if you see that inside our items variable we have three things the first one is the session id the second one is the action the third one is the chat input so to count the number of characters we have to fetch only the chat input from this whole message and this whole message is the first item inside our items list so first we have to fetch this first item so you have to go back into your code you have to create a set of large brackets and inside this bracket you have to pass the index zero then it will fetch this first item now our message is in the json format for this you have to create a set of large brackets you have to create a set of commas and you have to put json here now from this json format we are going to fetch only this chat input key so for this you have to type here dot get create a set of small brackets create a set of commas and inside these commas you have to put the key so our key is chat input now if i will execute my code again in the output you will get an error called code does not return items properly because in our code right now we are converting this json format into the python format so in order to return it back we have to convert back it into the json format for this you have to simply create a set of large brackets 
and then you have to create a set of curly brackets and inside these brackets first you have to create the key and you have to write the name for your key and i'm going to write the name for my key is result and then you have to put the colon here and then you can cut this part from here and paste it here now if i will execute my code again now in the output you will see that it will only fetch the part that contains our message hi my name is mr ai from this whole message and next to count the number of characters inside this message you have to call the python function called length and then you have to enclose this hole inside these small brackets and now if i will execute my code again now in the output you will get the number of characters that we have in our message and in order to get the number of words in our message you have to call another function you have to go here you have to put dot here and you have to put split and you have to put the set of small brackets now it will count the words split by the white spaces so if i will execute my code again now in the result you can see that we have total six words in our message the first one is hi the second one is my third one is name fourth one is is fifth one is mr and sixth one is ai so this is how you can write and run your code inside the anit and workflow so this is it for today if you want to learn more you can subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the updates of new uploads see you next time bye bye